Did you know that EPA has recently increased the stringency of the national ambient air quality standards at a historical rate? Hello, I'm Paul Graywall, a director at Trinity Consultants. The Clean Air Act requires EPA to set and periodically review national ambient air quality standards, or NACs, established at levels adequate to protect public health and the environment. Since President Obama took office, the U.S. EPA has increased the stringency of the NACs for three pollutants, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and fine particulate matter, and is in the process of reviewing the existing ozone standard. NACs are typically a concern to industrial companies that are planning on expanding or modifying existing facilities, constructing new facilities, or that have operations located in areas that are not meeting their quality standards, classified as non-attainment areas. Industrial facilities may be required to conduct air dispersion modeling to demonstrate that their facilities will not cause or contribute to a violation of the NACs, or reduce emissions from facilities located in non-attainment areas. In addition to significantly increasing the stringency of these standards, making them more difficult to attain, EPA has made other changes to its regulatory approach. For instance, for the new sulfur dioxide standard, EPA will also use dispersion modeling in determining non-attainment areas. Previously, only a monitored violation of the NACs would trigger EPA to designate an area as non-attainment. This new approach is expected to result in the classification of additional non-attainment areas and requirements for emission reductions from existing facilities. Industrial companies that expect to be impacted by the new NAC standards can be proactive in determining their potential exposure before the state or EPA takes action. Facilities can do their own dispersion modeling to determine if their emissions may cause or contribute to a NAC's violation and develop a strategy for addressing the issues. Strategies can include reducing modeled impacts and implementing ambient and meteorological monitoring. Becoming familiar with areas that are likely to be classified as non-attainment with the new NACs is important to estimate the impact of future emission reductions requirements at existing facilities and identify areas that may be difficult to build new sources or expand existing sources. Another consideration in some localities is whether environmental advocacy groups pose a challenge. Some groups are already conducting their own modeling associated with Title V operating permit renewals and may be a factor as EPA develops its attainment designations. Finally, it is important to monitor the inevitable legal challenges to the implementation of these new standards, as well as state implementation plan changes to stay abreast of any important developments related to the timelines and attainment designations. Trinity assists organizations in determining their exposure to issues such as the new NACs and developing strategies to minimize potential impacts. Visit trinityconsultants.com for the latest news and expert insights on NACs revisions.